how I used Chaos Cloth. So I want to preface this by saying this is not a tutorial, but more of a presentation how I did my workflow. So first thing I needed was a dress, and I found this great asset in the fab store. Um, more than I needed, and the dress was too elaborate for what I needed. I needed a nightgown. So I took it into Maya and decided to clean it up a bit, deleting some of the extras like the vest and using the UV editor for faster selection. Um, once I cleaned up some of this, you could see all, all the things I had to delete and remove. Uh, and this also had a lot of planes and geometry inside the dress that I had to get rid of. Once I got that, I realized that I couldn't use this to simulate the, the skirt. The topology was just not going to allow for a clean simulation. So I had to delete it and recreate it with just a simple cylinder. And of course, that would give me quadratic uh, geometry, as you can see right here. So all I needed now is to rig it, taking it into MetaTailor. This was the first time I used MetaTailor, and uh, it was very intuitive, very simple to use. And you can see I could take the, the blouse, put it in there, uh, move it around, conform her to it, and then once I hit uh, conform, it actually will inflate and adjust to her body. And on top of that, it also rigs itself. So now it's actually rigged to my MetaHuman. Uh, I then imported the skirt, which I just needed to actually conform to her body. That way they still look like one piece versus having two individual pieces. Now I was now that they were conformed, I was able to export them. Uh, unfortunately, by the time I did this tutorial, kind of recreating the process, I had exceeded my five uses per um, uh, 30 days. So taking what I've exported before, um, you can see the MetaHuman comes in with all these extra LODs, and I don't need that. All I need is the blouse and the actual skeleton. Confirming that it's rigged, and it's pretty good, good enough. I will then export this as its own skeletal mesh, bringing in the skirt to do the same. But this one actually is a little bit different. I'll, I'll get rid of all the things I don't need. Uh, Meta Taylor does seem to cut up the geometry for whatever reason, so I had to re sew up all these extra borders, uh, and then I had to run Maya's quadrilate to kind of give me clean topology again, because this is still not enough information for proper simulation. There we go, then a mesh smooth. Now we're looking good. I'm bringing it specifically to the pelvic. I don't want any other bones influencing it. So now that's complete, exported into Unreal, where we'll start creating everything. Uh, this has already been created beforehand, so I'm just kind of giving a quick rundown. So the first thing is you drag and drop your skeletal mesh, which is this guy right here, which then will end up connecting to the skeletal mesh import. In here, there's just um, information about the skeletal mesh itself. Um, and you'll see it right there. And then we create the weight map. The weight map is pretty important. This is where you'll be drawing um, the weights of the, the cloth you're trying to simulate. In my case, it's this skirt, which is this mesh over here. And I paid in all the information. Um, one thing you do have to add with the weight map is the max distance. You'll have to actually type that out in the output name, which then connects into the simulation max distance config. You'll have to hit the plus sign down here to connect it. Um, but now we connect the weight map into the simulation default config. This one's really important. This is what chooses the density and the way your cloth will simulate, which then connects into the simulation max distance config, just holds the distance. Um, which then connects into the physics asset, where you set uh, the physics asset you want to use. In my case, I was using Mary's, um, which is a my metahuman. So that I'll use that physics assets. And then lastly, connects into this asset, cloth asset terminal. All right, back to it. So we have the mesh here, and I added right here on the preview details, um, the skeletal mesh and animation. Back over here, I used the asset type gradient. So we only had to select uh, the portion that I don't want to simulate and then control marquee select the, the part I do want to simulate. Uh, inside the metahuman itself, I then had to add a cloth asset where I plugged in uh, the cloth we just created. And look at that, it's looking great. So a little gotcha I ran into is if your metahuman has clothes, it actually deletes part of the metahuman skin. Um, so I actually wanted to have it back in there for a better simulation. So what I ended up doing is creating a, a texture mask inside the metahuman's material. Uh, and to do that, you go into the master material itself, 
uh, create an input, reroute, and then here's a texture mask right here. I have put a, a static bool switch um, to it, connect it. Also, I had to make sure that the material was now set to masked instead of opaque. Uh, here's the mask that I painted. And let's go ahead and enable it and make sure it's cu cutting right through. So that's exactly what I want. I don't want the torso. I just want the hands and legs. Now we can see uh, the legs there. Uh, material also, I wanted to make an adjustment. So I made a just simple color tint, but I had to make sure that the shading model was set to subsurface. That's what kind of gives this translucent type of look. It's all over the cloth in the back as well. And we have a simulation. Beautiful. Now we're gonna go make death. Death was a little unique because he's pretty much all cloth sim, except for his mask. Uh, so here's my model that I'm gonna work on, and here's what we're gonna try to achieve. I used this reference model for what I was trying to make. I ended up downloading an asset. It didn't turn out to be useful, but it was a good reference for me to model on top of and get a hood. To do this, I just started with a cube, uh, mesh smooth it once just to give me some more topology and a rounder topology. Uh, I used soft selection to kind of adjust into it and just to match the shape close enough. And once I got there, uh, I conformed it a little more and mesh smoothed it to give me more topology, shrink wrapped it, cleaned it up with the relax brush, relax and smooth brush inside Maya. And once I was happy with this, I did one more mesh smooth to give it even more topology for a better simulation. I ended up adjusting it a little more, conforming it to his body. Uh, I also needed a little more inside, so I extruded inwards and conformed to his neck or upper traps. Then came the cloak. This one I felt was going to be very easy, um, thinking I'll just delete the top part of a cylinder and let it simulate like cloth, something like I would do in Maya. Uh, but then I realized chaos cloth doesn't kind of work the same, and you'll see what I mean in a moment. We got the topology pretty dense, pretty good skinned to the neck and let's take a look at inside of unreal create the chaos cloth delete i just copied and pasted from mary's dress and of course only changing the model itself but i had the same animation so we'll see how it looks go in paint it out gradient again and let's simulate yeah that's not what i'm looking for so let's go ahead and do the the hood next And, all right, that looks pretty good. Back to Maya to fix the cloak. The next idea I thought was maybe if I can form it a little close to his body, if this is already touching the floor, maybe it'll simulate better. I did something like this. All right, let's try again. Go in again, gradient. There we go, and uh, not what I'm looking for. One more time, back in Maya. So now I'm gonna get it as close as I possibly can to the body, uh, and I use the FFD body modifier or mesh modifier getting it in there as close as possible fitting it to his shoulders um, getting it close to his arms but that doesn't quite matter as much because the character's arms are going to be at his side the entire time so maybe I could get away with this and oh yes so much better this is far closer to what I'm looking for and of course our fantastic animation to test reconfirm the hood works rock solid all right, so let's put our character together back into the metahuman. We're going to add two chaos cloth assets this time uh, for the body and the hood. And I'm going to make a, a material for the cloth for now and for death skin. All right, and let's go ahead and replace a death's skin material inside the blueprint. I'm going to go ahead and attach his mask. And let's go ahead and create a quick sequence to play the animation and see how that looks. All right, needs a little tweaking around the, the hood itself. So I'm going to make it a little denser, thicker collision. And that's pretty good. I think this is a good starting base. Thank you for watching.